everyone's okay, sit back and relax. What I have for you today is an episode on the basic knowledge or steps in playing Exos Heroes. So to start off, where exactly can you get freezes? So this is a question that everybody's talking about because says is important in recruiting your heroes. So to start off, chapter completion. So if you if if you see there are several chapters for this game chapter 1 up to chapter 10 so each chapter has a set of zes at the bottom so as you aim uh, as you as you gain stars you start to unlock several zes until you've gained all the stars for the maximum number of zes for that chapter so this is how you earn zes in the chapters your journal this is where you get another set of free zes when you level up characters up to level 60 you get 20 zes then when you level them up to 75 you get another 50 zes so that's a total of 70 zes uh, per character so that's pretty pretty amazing once you you try to level up each and every character that you have in your journal is your coliseum so your coliseum opens twice a month only twice a month but it opens for a week so like this this week it's closed but for your coliseum um, the pass here is usually free for the first time then you complete a series of battles until you defeat the seventh battle in which you gain a hundred zest for this one so this is daily for seven days so leveling up your account is pretty much very easy there are two things that you should consider okay so number one play your chapters again so aside from earning zest in your chapters you're also you're also earning experience for your account level up so that is why your chapters are very important so you earn zest and you earn experience for your account the next one on how to earn experience for your account level is your daily quest which i finished already for today so finish all your quests so i think you have a maximum of eight daily quests for the day and it will earn you experience for your account so again if i if i may go back this is a lot of zest for your account until level 55 when you have 5000 zest when you reach 55 i'm sure the devs would probably increase this as a players progress in this game probably a few months from from now but for now it's up to level 55 and that's 5,000 deaths for you your diary is well another list of tasks so it's daily once you complete your daily task you get a final reward for this as well as your weekly task another final reward for this and your achievements so your achievements are probably a lot a lot of tasks that have a lot of accumulation so almost all of the rewards for your achievements are this so there are only a few 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 rewards that are not this okay and the next would be your daily quests so again we'll, we'll go back to the daily quests so aside from earning earning for example experience for your account you also be earning zest from your daily quests you earn a maximum of around 56 zest for this one when your account is already progressed 
So for beginners, this is a bit lower. So try to be patient and just grind the game down. The next one would be our Air Squadron Attendants. So every day when you check in with your squadron, also check your attendance because this is this is tenses okay and the next would be you pierce labyrinth it's located in your challenges here we are so for so for you pierce labyrinth you have five columns filled with mazes so if you are sky gate sky path starry corridor abyssal gate abyssal path so each maze has a corresponding zest once you completed it so for this one for the for number ones it's usually 30 for number two it's usually 50 for number three it's 100 for four it's 200 and for five it's 250 and that is a lot so try to finish all of your mazes in you pierce labyrinth but take note this is this is only open once a day so you, once you finish one maze you'll have to wait for another day so you pierce labyrinth resets every month so you will have a big chance to finish it within 25 days but you have an allowance of five days okay next is your weekly rewards so in your weekly rewards you can go here in your weekly report so you have three weekly rewards which is your the best tunier, which is your pvp the next is your battle which is your air squadron battle and your embodiment of avarice so all of these are located in your challenges so you have again pvp you have your battle which is right now locked and you have your embodiment of avarice so again um, this is very important that you finish this every day so the next thing that we're going to discuss is character development or character level up or character progression <clears throat> So why do we have to progress our character okay we have to progress our characters because number one we play the game so we love to level up our characters but how important is it so number one I'll just sorry I'll just discuss um, <clears throat> important key reasons why so this is actually my opinion on why you should um, monitor the progression of your characters so number one we'll go back to challenges so this is important because this is your blessing blessing santo why is this important because <clears throat> you have here under blessing sanctum lapis altar which is the last stage of the blessing sanctum okay it's under special so every special stage for every challenge let's say for example experience sanctum spirit sanctum ancient gold mine solar trade route lunar trade route blessing sanctum and your shelter of avarice has has their special stage so in the special stage, take note that you'll be earning your star fate. And your star fate is the only currency or token that can that can let you um, summon or that can let you get faded weapons. So 
and so you should work towards building your characters for this one because usually in the special stages uh, there are certain conditions that you should meet for you to enter this one and for you to be competitive so th that's an, that's one reason why you should concentrate on the blessing sanctum also because your blessing sanctum gives you the highest number of star faith daily so out of all of the previous challenges that i mentioned your blessing sanctum gives you around the last that i remember was 45. the rest would give you around probably 5 to 10. but this has the biggest biggest amount of star of faith that you can get from okay and number two is your side story So for your side story, the you er, what you earn here is your solar seal. Okay, why solar seals? Solar seals are required to unleash the potential of your legendary characters and rare characters. Okay, so let us open one. One that I have leveled up or unleashed potential already so if you can see I have here Kaya so Kaya is a is a rare character and if you can see her unleash potential you know matrix you will have to need solar seals to unleash potential for one two three four five six so if you have rare characters that's six if it's a legendary character you will need you will need to unlock i think only three so this is where you need your solar seals and solar seals are very hard to find so please mind your side story and don't spend your solar seals anywhere okay the next would be your Holy Dragon Grounds. Your Holy Dragon Grounds. Okay. So for your Holy Gra Dragon Dra Dragon Grounds, you will be earning your Relic of Dragon Dynasty and your Five Colored Faded Stone. What is very important here is this one, your Relic of Dragon Dynasty, because you will be needing this in summoning or or getting fated weapons. So again, I'll I'll go to your door creation. So in the door creation, you will need it here for your weapons. See? So you can you can you can get faded weapons here, and this one you will need your star fate for your other faded equipment or faded gear. So this is why both of them are very important. The next is your PvP. You need to have great characters for PvP because um, especially if you are a free-to-play player you can actually achieve the level of challenger I experienced this already because um, in my in my free-to-play account I already reached challenger one so that is the highest level that I have reached for my free-to-play account so challenger one so challenger one gets you uh, 1050 zest and you also get a medal medal of duel so that is why even if you're free to play you need to develop your character still and you can you can get this much uh, just by grinding it slowly and perhaps progress to the upper levels 
Okay, the next is your embodiment of avarice. For your embodiment of our avarice, every day there are conditions that you have to meet for you to enter. So it's usually dictated by the element that uh, it requires. So for this one, if you can see, it's a frost element and the other requirement is it should be four star and above. So the only way you can get to rank C is if you have combat power of 203,000, in which case I'm only at 182. So I need to level these up so that I could open, open rank C and avail of better rewards. So that is the reason why you should you should uh, level up your characters as well. And the la the, the another reason is also your airship battle. Your airship battle is is similar to PvP, uh, but it's a it's this one. But it's a battle of three groups in which you have to defeat them consecutively. If you get defeated on the first one, you won't be you, you won't be able to proceed on the second one. So this is very important because you also uh, earn this here once you improve your ranking in your win-loss column. So that is why PvP and battle um, are kinda tied together because uh, most, most probably what, what team you use in PvP, you're going to use in your airship battle. The next part that we're going to discuss is the need for character development. So how? How you're going to develop your characters. So again, you develop your characters by playing in the chapters. So for every, ep for every uh, unplayed ep episode, yeah, episode, you get experience for your characters. So this is where you can level them up. The next part that you can level up your characters is during the exploration. So during this one, I would suggest that you do the smart exploration because uh, when you click on this one, you are taken offline so you don't need to be online in doing this but you need to have levy stones for you to for you to do this i usually do this before i go to sleep or if i do something else so i put it on a smart exploration until i resume the game again so you earn experience from this as well and the last one on how to level up your characters is through your you have your tomes you have your books you have your scrolls and you have your page so you you level up characters by this and you acquire these through your daily quest and your experience sanctum Okay, so that's about it guys, but before we end this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. This would be a big help to my channel and I would also like to get any feedback from you so that I could probably um, tailor fit my videos to what you want or, want or what you want me to discuss for the next video and as well guys. Take care, everyone, and see you in my next video.